guys and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Today is another sample Saturday. I have a few samples that I have been working on this past week. We're going to start with this one from Soap and Glory. This is the Clean On Me Creamy Clarifying Shower Gel. I don't know why it's called clarifying, but it does have kind of a strong scent. It's not a bad scent by any means, but it is pretty strong. I've used it a couple times. It's about to there. So you do get quite a bit in this. This is 2.5 ounces. And yeah, it will be in an upcoming empties probably. I think in probably the May empties you'll see it and I'll get a final talk on it. I think it's good right now, but we'll see. All right, next up is from Dr. Brandt. This is the Microdermabrasion. And this is the age defying exfoliator. I also have this one in here, which is the pore dermabrasion. And it's the blue one, which is supposed to be pore perfecting exfoliator. I used to think that these were very similar and I couldn't really tell a difference between the two, but I used both of them this week and I can tell you there's a major difference. This one is not nearly as gritty, the blue one. And I ended up using almost the entire tube in one go. Now, granted, I don't just use it on my face. I use it on my neck and chest as well. So, you know, I go through it a little bit faster when I use it in the shower. But this one is definitely more gritty, the black one. Uh, and it just, it feels like a little bit more exfoliator. This has a little, this has fewer grains in it and it's a little more creamy. So if I was going to choose between the two, I would definitely get the black one rather than the blue one. Now this one I've only used once, so there's quite a few, there's at least two or three more uses in here. So I will be putting that in an upcoming empties, but this guy is empty because I used it in like a shower and a half. Next we have from Avino. This is the Positively Radiant Max Glow Infusion Drops with Total Soy and Kiwi Complex. And my friend gave me this, she got this in her, um, she got it as a sample and she passed it on to me because she thought I might use it. This is made in South Korea, which is interesting. I didn't know they made Aveeno products there. It was pretty nice. I used it as a face oil at night and I liked it. Probably not enough to purchase it. I felt like I like my oils to have just a little bit more slip to them when I put it on my face so it doesn't feel... It felt almost a little drying, not like a ton. I think it was pretty good, but it wasn't something that I'm really excited to purchase again. And then I have this guy, which is from Kiehl's. This is the Clearly Corrective Dark Spots Solution. And I've been using this at night. Um, after I put on my regular serum, I put this on over the top. For some reason, I was thinking this was the Midnight Recovery <laughs> Complex. So I've been using this in place of an oil and no wonder I've feeling it has not been a good oil because it's not an oil because I'm not paying attention very well. Um, I've liked it. It sinks in really well. I don't know if it's been lightening my dark spots. I don't have, it's mostly from acne scarring. I will be paying more attention this next week and I do have another one. So you'll probably see this again next week because I'll, I'll use it again so that I can give you a better idea of it since obviously that was a terrible review because I wasn't paying attention. Next up is from CeraVe. This is the developed, uh, that's developed with dermatologists, that's all it says. This is the PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion Oil Free. I am not a fan of this. I don't feel like it's very emollient. It doesn't feel very moisturizing at all. I, I am so glad that it's almost gone. I think I have one more use of it and then it's going out. So this one you won't see again. I would not purchase this. I like a cream that's a little bit thicker, a little bit feels more moisturizing. It doesn't really feel moisturizing at all. Then this guy I actually should have talked about last week, but I kind of forgot about it. So we're talking about it this week. This is the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. This is a nice eye cream. It kind of has a pinkness to it and I really enjoy this. I've had this in the past. I've really liked it. The one thing I will say is that with the ginger in it, if you have any irritation at all, it will really aggravate it and make it worse. So I had discontinued it for a while because I had a reaction to either, like I had an eye brightener and I had an eyeshadow and 
I don't know which one it was, but I don't want to use either one of them ever again. <laughs> so this really aggravated that after I had that initial reaction. So if you have that, it's a little too much, but I do like it and I have other samples of it that I will be continuing to use. I use this guy, I'm using a whole bunch of foil packets trying to get them out of my collection because my little dish that I keep them in is overflowing. This first one is Clinique Moisture Surge. This is, you know, my favorite moisturizer. I wear this on a regular basis. And I was frustrated with this one because I was not getting enough of it out, so I ended up using the entire packet today. And that was a little too much, but I don't feel like there was enough for two uses in here. But I do love this. It's a lightweight gel cream. It feels really moisturizing. I felt extra moisturized today because I used just so much, and it was actually kind of nice. Then we have the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Gel Lotion. This one I really like too. I know I had another sample of this earlier in the year. I really like this. I feel like this is comparable to the Moisture Surge. I really like gel moisturizers under my makeup. I use a heavier cream at night, but I really liked both of these and I would totally repurchase. I mean, I have multiples of this already because I always stock up when it's on sale. But this one I would definitely purchase as well, the It Cosmetics. It's really good. Then we have this one from Pharmacy. This is the Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer. And I did kind of enjoy this. If this wasn't really on sale, I would probably purchase it. I like that it has papaya in it. It just, it felt nice. It kind of had a nice light scent to it. Not like a perfume scent, but like a natural kind of scent to it. I did like it. Not enough to go out and like purchase it. I feel like I like the other ones better, but it was pretty good. Same with this one. This is the Tarte Drink of H2O Hydrating Boost Moisturizer. This is okay. Um, it does a good job of moisturizing, but I don't feel like it's super moisturizing. It also, to me, it smells like it has a little bit of perfume in it, something to make it smell more sea, since it's supposed to be um, part of their sea line. But it's okay, it's not my favorite. If I got more samples of it, I obviously will use it. Like I don't hate it. I just wouldn't purchase it. And I wouldn't say to go out and buy this. If you're looking for a gel moisturizer, I would go with it or with Clinique over the other two. But I think Pharmacy was pretty good as well. So those are my samples. Starting to get back into it, you're gonna see a lot of moisturizers. I'm looking at what I had. You're gonna see a lot more moisturizers as we go along because I am trying to use up all of those samples that I have because I have a lot. And then also, you probably won't see any cleansers because I am starting a new full-size cleanser um, today, but you'll see other things. Moisturizers, some serums coming in. I have one serum, but I only wore it once this week, and I want to wear it more before I start talking about it. So you'll see those. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What serums or samples have you been using? Have you been using a lot or not so much lately. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I already said that, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.